What was your guys' reaction when you heard about the game? Uh, I mean, obviously pretty disappointed, uh, but I mean, we understand the situation. At the end of the day, we're just really happy we get the chance to play the game in a later date. Yeah, I'm just happy that it's not uh, a forfeiture. You know, we still get to play with you guys, so at the end of the day, just making sure everybody's safe and healthy. The news kind of broke right as you guys were coming out here yesterday. How and who told you? How did it all come down? Yeah, well, actually, this, as a specialist, we were warming up, doing our usual routine, and then we got called inside. Um, and I think the rest of the team was kind of about to go into meetings. And, yeah, we just had a big team meeting. And, um, the coach told us the news, and uh, then we just kind of moved on with the situation and, and started preparing as, as well as we can now for UCLA. And, um, yeah, that was basically Keontae, you were pretty banged up in that last game. How are you feeling just in general now? And does it help to maybe have that extra bit of time before you guys play again? I mean, I feel great. Uh, you know, running back, you're always going to be banged up when you go here. But, I mean, for other than that, I feel great. Uh, having this little more time to get ready for, you know, a football game, I mean, that's tremendous for me. So I'm just taking full advantage of it. But I feel great. Keontae, how different were the looks you were getting in the box against Arizona State compared to the Arizona game? Uh, in the box, they always had one extra hat, regardless if that might be a linebacker or a safety. Also, they was uh, stunning a little bit, you know, and uh, also adding a uh, cornerback in the free runs, you know. So it was a little bit different. Nothing too much we haven't seen throughout the season, but, I mean, it is kind of hard to run against a loaded box. So. Are you expecting those sorts of looks kind of going forward, just giving away the offense? Um, I mean, I am anticipating that going into that, uh, especially within my preparation. You know, got to take care of my body. But uh, if they don't, I mean, hats off. I mean, whatever they give us this Saturday is what we're going to take advantage of. So. Chris, you played with Max Gibbs in high school. What's it been like for you to watch him uh, this season? Uh, Max Gibbs? Yeah. Oh, man, that's my boy right there. But it's been, uh, it's honestly just been fun. I mean, you know, it's a process. Dante preaches that every day. And uh, Max is one dude who I can say is truly been buying into the process. I mean, he's cut down so much weight since he's been here. You know, as you know, I've known him since his freshman year of high school. So just to see his development and the way he's turning into a man is like, it's crazy to me. But I mean, he moves very well for somebody his size. And, you know, I think he can end up being a big time D lineman once he, you know, once he gets everything together. So he's doing, he's doing very well, but the development is for sure. Keontae, could you tell when Keaton got hurt in the game Saturday? Uh, actually, I didn't know Keaton got hurt uh, in the game Saturday. Um, if he did, he did a good job of, you know, playing through it or whatever the case may be. Hats off to him. I mean, you know, for us to be that down, you know, a couple of scores and then still try to finish the game, well, that just speaks on his character. So I didn't know he was hurt that Saturday. You, you were slowed by an ankle injury in August. Were you worried when this one happened Saturday? Uh. You talking about this coming up Saturday? This past Saturday. This past Saturday. Uh, I mean, I know I was nicked up. You know, uh, I play running back, like I said. I mean, that's part of the game. Uh, I mean, if I get nicked up, we have other guys going in and filling position. You know, Vaughn, you got uh, Barlow, and uh, you got Young BC in there. All those guys can run the ball. So, I mean, things happen. That's just part of football and it's adversity. Was it the same angle as August? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say uh, amped up, but definitely getting us a little bit of an edge, you know, just getting the game plan really with the guys. Um, but definitely, we definitely feel that uh, energy picking up. I feel like I should ask all y'all a question. Why are all y'all so ugly? <laughs> <laughs> um, just to speak on that last question, too. Uh, just to carry out what they said, I wouldn't say it really like amped us up more. I mean, you know, we look forward to every game with the team. But um, I compare it to the Notre Dame week a little bit, just because you know we had the extra week to prepare and kind of just break down our opponent. And really, I mean, for a lot of us, that was some of our best games. And obviously, was the outcome that we wanted to, um, to like everybody played to their max potential that game. So you know, just having to actually prepare for UCLA is going to be huge. You know, they're going to try to come out with a lot of different things, so just to have the extra time to prepare for the team. I think the goal is playing the whole game. Uh, I would say it's everything. You know, we want to finish out this season strong, and, uh, you know, the whole game is just a reward of that. Yeah, I think in addition to that, uh, a big part of, like, going to bowl games, earning it, I think that's
that's why I'm grateful we still get that game on the fourth um, to earn it. I think we should just be handed it. So, um, I mean, for me, I came here to play in bowl games. I know everyone else came here to play in bowl games. So it's very much a big reason why uh, we play. And uh, I want to I go to bowl game. Anything else for these guys? No? Thanks for coming up here. Man. I appreciate it.